Welcome back to the Steel Forum. I'm Matt Hand, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the base plate shear key component in SDS2. So we've got our model set up. Our column is already loaded up. We've got a base plate on it, but we need to get a shear key on the bottom of it. We're going to use the add component command AC, select the base plate shear key, and then we've got a few choices. We can pick rolled section, single plate, cross plate, and three plate. I'm going to go through all of those options to show you what they do. First, we'll start with rolled section. Set your section size. Pick a depth that you want the material to be. Any offsets that you want and rotations, any welds. You can set your grade. And we're just going to plug that in and see what that looks like. So that's going to give us that shear key underneath the base plate. And you can throw offsets in there if you want. Shift it around from center in either direction. We can also set a rotation. If we want to give that a little bit of a tweak in any direction that we need. We'll start with the single plate. Pretty straightforward here. I've still got that on a 45. We'll put that on a zero. And again, you can see how you can modify this however you need to to get the material that you're after. Okay, after the single plate type, we've got cross plate. Pretty straightforward idea there. This one allows you to pick two different plate thicknesses. I'll make it a little bit ridiculous so we can see what that looks like. So you've got your long plate. These are your short plates that I've made two inches. Offsets and the rotations apply to these as well. You can change these lengths however you need. And then we have the three plate, which essentially is a built up T. So you've got flanges for that and also the web thickness. So I'll leave that as two and one to show how those work out. Go back to a zero rotation. And you can see how that one works out as well. You can use any other rolled section that you want for this. That's been the demonstration of using the base plate shear key in SDS2. I'm Matt Hand with the Steel Forum. We'll see you next time.